Hello students, we are probably currently sitting inside a room. There must be a tube light in the room, the mobile phone we are using to watch this video, the refrigerator, the laptop, or the geyser in your home. All these appliances uses electricity for their operation. They cannot think of life without electricity. And if we broadly classify the uses of this electricity or electric current, we can get three types. Number one is the heating effect of electric current. Number two is the magnetic effect of electric current. And the third is the chemical effect of electric current. Here, in this video, I will be discussing only the heating effect of electric current, which is a very common phenomenon. We have generally noticed that when electricity passes through an appliance, the appliance gets heated up. Okay, the simplest example I will provide you is the pedestal fan that we use in our home. If you keep rotating the pedestal fan for a long amount of time, then after a while, if you check the back of the fan, you will notice that it is heated up to a considerable amount. Another example is the electric bulb. What happens when electric current passes through an electric bulb? The filament of the electric bulb gets heated up, it gets blows up, and it provides some light energy, but along with the light energy, it also gives away some amount of heat energy. Okay, so now the question is why does this happen? To know this, let me draw a conductor, a metallic conductor, and provide a potential difference V across it, across the two ends of the conductor. If I switch on this key, then the electrons will start moving towards the positive terminal of the battery. And when these electrons will move towards the positive terminal of the battery, they will collide with the atoms of the conductor already present inside the conductor. And in these collisions, they will have to overcome the resistance of the conductor. And in overcoming those resistance, in overcoming those collisions, loss in energy will take place. And this loss in energy is nothing but what appears as the heat energy which is liberated by the conductor. Okay, so now we have to find the mathematical expression for this amount of heat liberated by the conductor or any kind of appliance like a fan or a bulb etc. So for that let us assume the current flowing through the conductor is capital I and it flows for a time given by small t. First of all we have to find the total amount of charge which is flowing through the conductor in the small amount of time T. Since we know that current is given by total charge per unit time, so from that we can write Q is equal to current into time. Okay, so now we know that when there is a potential difference between two points A and B, say A and B, and and you have to move up unit positive charge from one point to another then some work must be done when doing that and that work done is given by the potential difference into the total amount of charge passing through the conductor P into I into T from the previous expression and from Ohm's law we know that P is equal to I into R. So we can write I into R into I into T. So we get W is equal to I square R T. Now the work done by any system is always directly proportional to the heat liberated by the system. Here the system is a conductor or an appliance. Okay, so we can write work done is proportional to the heat energy liberated. So, W is proportional to H. If we remove this proportionality constant and replace it by capital J, then we can write W is equal to J into H. Here, J is nothing but the ratio of the work done divided by the heat energy liberated by the system and is known as Joule's mechanical equivalent of heat. Its value is 4.2 joule per calorie. So, 
we have h is equal to 1 by j into w which is equal to 1 by j into i square rt. This is the final expression for the heat liberated by the metallic conductor when a current I passes through it. So this heating effect of electric current is used in many appliances like electric geyser, electric iron, electric kettle, etc. And it is this phenomena is also utilized in a safety device called the electric fuse for protecting household wiring and electrical appliances from accidental large flow of currents.